guys welcome back to my channel it's tia here if you are new please like and subscribe um i haven't posted a video in a long time but yeah this one is going to be a quick ulta beauty haul so i went there got my bag um i pretty much got some basic stuff that i seen in this girl's video of her like basic drugstore favorites or something like that so i'm just gonna go through everything that i got my total was 65 dollars bro and i literally only bought like one two three four five six seven eight things and they're all small things i didn't even buy like foundation concealer or any of that the first thing is the juvia's place palette is called the rebel honey it looks like this i i love their packaging because like it is a black owned brand so they always have like black women on their products finally got it opened i tried not to rip the box but um i used to keep a lot of my um product boxes but then i was like oh this is taking up way too much space so now i just throw the boxes away but comes nicely packaged like this and i didn't even plan on buying eyeshadow because I haven't worn eyeshadow for real in like years but i have a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes because like i'm just obsessed with them but this one i don't know it like drew my eye but it has four shades in it um they don't have names this one is just like uh light orange dark orange darker brown and then a sparkly gold and like these are just like the shades i use the most i always use like you know the dark one for my outer corner and then like one of these for the lid and then like this one for the inner corner or whatever but this like they have um different ones as well that are like more like blues or pinks or like rainbows but like these are the basic colors that i use so i just decided to get that the second thing that i got is this nyx professional makeup hd finishing powder um in the shade of banana i think they had like this one um and then they had like another one that's like pure white but i don't know if that one had like flashback or not but in the girl's video she said that this was a good finishing powder um like i've actually like started to learn the difference um between like finishing powder and like setting powder so this i'm going to try this out to see if like it makes my makeup crease less especially around my under eyes because my under eyes are always creasing and you know, I just needed some stuff to help solve that problem. Um, so I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Apparently, this is a good drugstore concealer. I think it only costs like $5, but um, I've never tried this, surprisingly. Um, I'm not even sure if they sell them in like Walgreens or Rite Aid or anything. They probably do. I just never saw them. But I got them in two different shades. This one is gc994 peach corrector so this one is like what you put before your concealer before the foundation all that stuff um i learned that like a peach corrector actually helps with covering dark circles and then this one is an actual concealer in a shade pure beige um gc976 looks like this i don't even know if this one is um light enough it might be the same color of my skin so i have to see if those work the next thing I got is this brow pencil by ColourPop. Um, I don't really buy a lot of their things, but I just wanted to... I needed a new brow pencil because I actually ran out. So, I don't know. Like, I hate these pencils because they never have a lot of product in them. I used to use um, Anastasia Dip Brow, that one, because that one costed, like, $22 back in 2016 when I would do my eyebrows all blocky and everything but now I like doing my eyebrows natural so I like using you know the spoolie after I do them and everything um and this one is in the shade dark brown I was gonna get black because my hair is black but then like black be way too harsh um so that's that and then i got an eyeliner by la girl it's called perfect precision eyeliner i think this was only 2.99 which is surprising because you know i thought like eyeliners would be more expensive but it it's in the shade dark brown um it's eyeliner but like i'm gonna also use it for like my brows if this other one runs out and then i might use it as like a lip liner too because when I went, I tried to find a lip liner and like I'm not paying $10 for the freaking lip liner. So I was like, oh, like maybe I can get this one and just use it as lip liner. Um, the next thing I got is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. This one, I think this cost $10. Okay, so e.l.f., they have like a whole bunch of primers out there. They have like a mattifying one, like a hydrating one, like the pore concealing one and like the 
dewy one so it's like a whole bunch of options but i chose this one because like there wasn't a lot on the shelf so i was like oh people are probably buying that one um so this is the hydrating one so hopefully like it actually freaking works um and then the last thing i got is by milani makeup it says make it last matte this is a setting spray matte finish charcoal setting spray um oil control mattify set 16 hour wear mm. i don't know like is milani drug store i guess it is because it's only ten dollars no i like these i'm gonna i'm just gonna try out these products because like i have a photo shoot coming up so i just wanted to get like a, a whole bunch of new stuff to try because i don't know like i have makeup from like years ago but like half of it is not my shade now and i i've that's i feel like i should have got a foundation that was like the main thing i was going for because like my foundation that i have now i have like four different shades one of them is too dark one of them is too orange another one is like has like red undertones like it's just not me but you know like i don't know i'm just gonna mix them all together like i usually do but like i hope this freaking concealer is good bro but yeah that was it for today's video thank you guys for watching if you are new remember to subscribe and check out my other videos and i'll see you guys in the next video